Hey folks, I hope everyone's staying healthy uh, and sane if you're working from home. Uh, I wanted to just take a couple of minutes today and go through really probably the most important thing that I think investors and traders should be doing right now. Um, and that is really to, to, to separate their time frames. I see this so many times and it's, and I've mentioned this many times before here on these videos, but it is probably the most important thing that you can do, not just right now, to be honest with you, but really pretty much always. And the reason why it's, it's important is because what you don't want to do is you don't want to take a longer term investment and turn it into a trade, which completely derails your initial view and the reward to risk or vice versa. You don't want to take a trade that you meant to keep on for a couple of days or a couple of weeks and turning into an investment where you had no intention of do, doing that. And again, it, it not only does it derail your, your risk parameters, it also becomes a psychological sort of situation and real problem. So to give you just a really simple idea on this, and, and by the way, it, this, is, this is more difficult to do when things are more volatile, which is why I wanna bring this up right now. So let me give you just an actual couple of ideas, and, and these are actually ideas that we like, so you know, take them for what it's worth as well. So what you can see here in the chart is, is, a, um, is a chart of the utilities ETF. This represents utilities, these are dividend paying utilities, you know, like your electricity companies and things like that. Um, and I would think from a longer term perspective, these are interesting buys, right? When I say longer term, it's probably through the lens of at least a few quarters, more likely years. So that would fall into my longer term investment bucket. And we have an entire bucket system at, uh, at Blue Oak Advisors and at Blue Marlin Advisors, our RIA, where we really make sure we, we, we focus people and keep people in the respective buckets that they're looking to allocate capital to, right? So we have a, there's, there might be even be a day trading bucket, that's that. Then there's this medium term bucket, you know, sort of swing trading as they call it. And then of course the longer term bucket. So to me, right now utilities is kind of something that I'm looking at for the longer term uh, allocation. Right. At the same time, even utility stocks, XLP as an ETF, you know, from a long term perspective, interesting. But if you go a little bit deeper into this and you start looking at near term time frames, let's say on utilities, you might make the argument that we have now bounced from the lows of a week and a half ago up to here about 17% and we may start to get a bit overbought. You could make the same argument for the S&P 500. You could make the same argument for something like, which I actually like as a trade in the short side right now, uh, the SMH, which is semiconductor ETFs. But here I'm looking at a time frame of a few days to maybe a couple of weeks or so, right? That's an entirely different bucket than my longer term allocation. And I know a lot of people are aware of this, but we know empirically that most people still actually don't consciously make the decision that way. So for me right now, well, where I'm looking at is I like utilities in a long time, so we're nibbling some little bit of there, and again, longer term, years most likely. Whereas on the short side for a tactical trade, which is more of the nearer term bucket, the swing trading bucket as we like to call it, there's an opportunity for me in semiconductor stocks to maybe look a little bit on the short side, see some sort of mean reversion move maybe back, you know, towards the areas down here, right? The exact levels here don't matter so much. The point is more to give you and I to make sure people stick within their, their within their time frame buckets. So again, this is something I know a lot of people are aware of, but they don't actually consciously do. So the way I actually do this, I have a, a board up here, and we have, of course, files as well internally, where we really keep things consciously in buckets, right? The day trading bucket, there's no reason to write that one now because that changes, you know, obviously those are really short trades, but from a medium and longer term bucket, you wanna make sure you have lists. This is my long term bucket, I allocate capital here. You can just make it something as simple as a spreadsheet. And then the medium term bucket, the swing trading bucket is another spreadsheet, another column, right? So um, anyway, just, just want to make you aware of this. I know this, uh, uh, th this is more difficult to, to, to actually put into practice if you, if you have a more volatile market, it becomes more difficult to discern, you know, is this a long-term buy versus a short-term trade, right? Um, but I just gave you an idea of what we're looking at right now, so take it for what it's worth. But again, more importantly, I just want to bring across that message that it is important to keep at the different buckets here. So anyway, instead of rambling on, we'll, we'll stop it here. Hope it makes sense. If you like it, folks, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, spread the, the word on what we do here, and we'll see you guys soon.